Hello, Fabric and Fiber friends. Welcome to episode number 10 of Quilting on Caffeine. My name is Christine, and when I'm not vlogging, when I'm not vlogging over here, you can find me over on Instagram as at Modern Little Me, or over on the interwebs as www.modernlittle.me. It is Tuesday, August 24th, 2021, and it is a maybe beautiful day out there. Um, I am drinking, let's start with what I'm drinking, because, let's see, can you see that? The fall drinks dropped from Starbucks today. And I am so excited because um, while it's 82 degrees outside and really gross and soupy and hot and muggy, it is fall in my mind. Um, so I am drinking the apple crisp macchiato. It's delicious. I don't do pumpkin flavored stuff, but I do all the other flavors. Um, so not my normal coffee or my normal mug, obviously, but worth it. Uh, so let's get down to business. As you can see, I think it's, yeah, I think it's that way on the camera too. <laughs> I still have the same stinking quilt on the wall. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. Cause I've had two commission projects that I'm working on this week, um, for friends. So it's fine. Didn't get to that, but I did finish up some other stuff, which is a okay. And I'm wearing my cool people quilt t-shirt by Mish quilts on Instagram. It's a busy work week. I'm going to need to start removing the dog toys before I vlog. Um, I'm in a new spot today. I don't think I've been here before. I've sewn here before and you've followed along, but I don't think I've actually filmed this way. Um, trying to get the most of the light that I can. I have been working on a couple of things. Two is going to be the theme of this podcast, I think. So the first thing I've been working on is the cake mix quilt that I showed you last time using Jen Kinglell fabrics. So these are using the Jen Kinglell fabrics and pickle, Essex linen pickle colorway, which goes amazing. Um, I had thought I was going to do a different lock layout, um, but then I find I decided when I had all my half square triangles that this one actually felt super fun, super fun. Um, it's more traditional than I normally do, but that's okay. Um, I seem to be having a half square triangle phase in my life between the quilt on the wall and this one. So I am a quarter of the way through the big blocks, the 16 inch, I think, finished blocks. That's not right. 15 inch. Halfway through. Quarter of the way through. I just wishfully think to my way farther along. Um, so that's coming together. And then... I've been working on this quilt, Galactic Quilt by Tara Fawn. And by working on it, I mean all I did was go buy fabric for it. Uh, which is, I mean, I love that the best. <laughs> so this is my current color palette. I think... I might, I mean, what makes this quilt magical is her limited use of pop colors. Can you guys see that good? 
she uses very limited colors that really pop and I feel like I've used a lot of colors that pop in here um, but maybe what it becomes is my pop colors are actually the colors that recede I don't know we'll see I guess we'll see how it comes out or how it comes together um, so that's, that's freezer paper method. Um, and then you use a plastic template, I think, template to square it up. That's new to me. So we'll see. So I've got those two projects actively going right now. I'd like to say that I'm going to finish that quilt, but I feel like I say that every time and I never do. And school starts in like a week and a half. No, that's why, two weeks. Um, so we've got a lot of back to school stuff going on in the midst of all of this. So I'm going to sew like it's my job. But it also might be a lot of this sort of sewing. Um, mostly because I find that really relaxing and meditative and not so much thinking. But <laughs> I also am working on two challenge quilts. So the first one is for the QuiltCon Artisan Cotton Fabric Challenge. Um, and they chose, yeah, I think that's, so Wyndham Fabrics Artisan Cotton is the line. And as with most QuiltCon Fabric Challenges, they dictate The, like the mass majority of what you're supposed to use. Um, it's really hard to see, I think, on the camera, but it actually has two, like the way, the weave is really beautiful on these. You can kind of see it there. Um, so they've chosen, let's see, aqua blue, I'm reading, aqua glue, blue, blue, Orchid, Wine Pink, and Coral Aqua. I wouldn't have called that Coral Aqua. I would have called that Lilac. But anyway. And then you have a selection of other ones that you can work with for the neutral. So that opens next Wednesday, and then you have until the end of October to submit it. The next challenge is for the Curated Quilts magazine. This is for the issue that comes out January 2022. It is the collaboration issue. That's the overarching theme of the issue. So that's also the theme of the mini quilt challenge. This time it's a little different in the color palette has some flexibility so they've dictated to you let's see how can I wait there we go ah perfect um they've dictated to us these neutrals which you need to make up 70 percent of the quilts the mini quilts and then the other 30 percent is up to you so what I decided to do is I'm collaborating with my family on this one. Collaboration quilts are usually bees or guilds that work together to create individual blocks to make a bigger quilt. But this time I decided that since so much of our life has been just our family unit right now, I mean, the past 18 months have been us for the most part, I decided it would be kind of fun to include them in this project. So 
I have the plan laid out. This one's due September 13th, so there's a lot less wiggle room timing-wise on these. Um, but I have the plan, I have the design almost, we'll see, I'll probably change it halfway through, but I have the plan figured out and I've also thought through how each of us can work in their little part while still each, so it will be a collaborative quilt, but I'll be doing all of the piecing because we just don't need anybody else by my sewing machine. Um, so I've got the five Bella solid neutrals. It's white bleach, gray, lead, porcelain, almond, and teak. Um, and then this will take up 70% of the color palette and then the other 30% is up to us. So we get to decide what that pop of color is. And that's also something I'm going to work with uh, with my family on. So it'll be fun. It'll be a unique little quilt. Um, I'm excited to see how it comes together and I'm also interested to see if it comes together in my head. Well, if it comes together in real life, like I see it in my head, because once I start collaborating with people in my family, the plans always go out the window. Uh, so that's fun. I'm glad I've got two so I feel like I just finished up two commission projects, which are not quilt based, but they are sewing based. Um, and I can't share either of them yet, but they were kind of out of my comfort zone a little bit. And then I've got these two challenge quilts that are testing me, I guess, creatively. Yeah, testing me, pushing me out of my, I mean, <sighs> One's pushing me to collaborate with my family and the other one's pushing me out of my normal palette. So I think that's going to be good. Like, it'll be interesting to see what happens with my creative juices that way. Um, and then I've got some comfort sewing in the Jen Kingwell pattern. And I've got some color play in the Galactic Quilt pattern. So I feel like I've got a lot that's kind of pushing me out of my normal routine or what I default to color wise or pattern wise or any of this, like any, all my standards are like kind of out the window right now. And I feel like that could be really good. And coming into September, which is fall. And for me is always fall feels like my new year because school starts and I don't do spring cleaning. I do fall cleaning and then it's the holidays and it's just nice. Like we're going to be packing up the boat bag soon and we'll be putting the beach towels away and I mean not immediately because summer still lasts until the end of September here but I see it it's coming um and then let's see what else do I have oh I'm also taking two classes so this weekend I'm taking a walking foot quilting class with Marge Tucker I'll link her um, Instagram handle down below, uh, which is funny because I've got, you can kind of see it in the background, not a domestic quilting machine <laughs> back there, but this is offered by the New Hampshire Modern Quilt Guild, which I am a member of for their members. And the other guild that I'm a member of, which is the Modern Quilters of Rhode Island, had her earlier in the year, and I wasn't able to attend that one because it was... It was either my husband's birthday or it was the following month, which is my parents' um, anniversary, and it was a milestone anniversary. So we, my sister coordinated a big Zoom party for them. Um, but either way, I wasn't available to do it with that guild, so it was nice when the opportunity came up to do it with this guild. As I'm sitting here talking, I realize I haven't prepped anything for this class, so that's got to happen before anything else happens. Um, Otherwise, what's the point, right? 
And then the other class I signed up for, which is really, I should take it out of the sleeve. Um, I'm using it as an excuse to have some Friday night socialization time online. Um, Cause the majority of things are still virtual here. I am doing the pattern basket, focus, focus quilts. Cause did I mention it's fall soon? I mean, if my drink didn't give it away and all my talk of fall plans, um, I'm excited. <laughs> but I am going to do a slightly different color palette. Oh, I should have folded these first. Um, I'm very into pink pumpkins this year. I do not know why. Pink is not normally my color. But this is... So this is kind of where my palette is going. I think I'm going to do navy and black, orange, told you I should have folded these first, pink, Oh my gosh, that's a little brighter on my end. But man, you can really see the prints. Um, I'm also obsessed. This is Full Moon by Helen Black for Dashwood Studios, and I am obsessed with this. I mean, it's spooky in places. Like, can you see the moths right there? And there's some skulls and some spider webs and but just yeah. I'm ready to be comfy cozy. <sighs> so I've got that coming up too. I have high hopes of finishing this quilt in time for Halloween, but I think it's like September 3rd, 17th, and October 1st, maybe, for the last class. Um, I'm not going to have a quilt for Halloween, but it'll be really fun to work on something like that. Maybe I could start early. We'll see. So I've got that. Um... And this was kind of the inspiration fabric. Let's be real. The fact that I bought a big light up pink ceramic pump again at Home Goods was really the inspiration. But I'm going to pretend like it was the fabric. So I feel like I said a lot in a very little time frame there. Um, and I feel like that's a lot that's going on. I will say, however, I'm not really knitting right now because it's, I don't enjoy knitting in this weather. Um, and I think that all of my patterns right now require some co decent concentration, which I don't have when it's back to school time. Uh, it's a little hard for me to focus when I'm busy juggling schedule changes and other people's feelings about what's going to happen in the next few weeks and their preparation for it because even though they're 9 and 13 they aren't necessarily independent enough to get their school supplies together um, and I'm trying to avoid a emergency situation the night before especially since nobody has any school supplies left, it feels like around here. So that's it. Um, I think that next time I hope to have something finished. Oh. 
I did finish the top of my puff quilt, my ombre puff quilt, but it is in a precarious situation and I can't hold it up at the moment. So it's half sandwiched is what it is with the backing and the batting and the puffs. Um, so I can't hold that up to display at the moment, but I think that next time I should have that probably not bound, but maybe at least quilted. It's, I don't, do you call that when you tie quilts, quilting it? I hope to at least have it tied together enough and safety pinned enough that I can hold it up. Um, Cause that will be lovely once the cool fall weather that I am obviously very anxious for <laughs> comes in. Um, and maybe I'll have this Jen Kingwell pattern, this cake mix quilts pieced as a top. Um, and hopefully I will definitely have those other two projects off my list. The kids will be, no, no, they won't, probably not. They probably won't be in school yet. But hopefully I'll have finishes to share. Thank you so much for joining me on this short, sweet, and kind of rambly vlog. Um, I hope that you come back and visit me next time. I hope that you are enjoying the end of your summer. If your kids are already back to school, I hope that they're having a successful start to their year. I know it's still weird and different for all of us, but I hope it's still good. Until then, quilt on, drink up, I'll see you soon.